Hey guys, John Rettinger here with a review for you of the iPower backup battery for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPod. Really anything with Apple's proprietary port, this sucker will charge. Now you may have seen the unboxing, you may have not. Actually what it is, is an 1800 milliamp hour backup battery. 1800 milliamp hour is actually very impressive. Most phones, even the big beefy phones, generally only ship with a 1400 milliamp hour battery. So this is having almost like a battery and a quarter to back up your iPhone. For those of you that have an iPhone 3G, you'll know battery life, not its strongest point. So something like this can be very important. So before I get into the review, let me preface this by saying a few things. First of all, the folks at iPower were very nice enough to send me two, and it's fortunate that they did because the first one they sent actually broke. It stopped charging, it wouldn't hold a charge, and it stopped charging devices. So I was a little put off, but the second one they sent, this white one, which is actually different than the black one you saw me unbox, works flawlessly. So I want to be honest and give you guys my full feedback. So I do have to say the first one didn't function. This one works perfectly. Odds are it was just a bum one that was probably more of an exception rather than the rule, but definitely something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. So it looks just like a little square with a small light in the middle. You can go ahead and take the top off, and it's got a port that plugs right in. On the top of it, a little zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. On the top, there's a power on off and a mini USB port for charging, which is actually very nice that they use a standard charging port. Go ahead and pull back out a little bit. So it plugs very simply right into your iPhone. It's an external dongle, and it stays like that. So there's a few pros and cons about this. First, let's talk about the pros. It is a huge battery. 1800 milliamp hours in a small package is fantastic. This almost triples the life of your iPhone's battery, which is great. If you're traveling, if you're watching a lot of movies, you do a lot of web browsing, emails, whatever you do, you find yourself constantly running low on battery. This is a great option because, well, you can go through almost three times as long. So that's what that's a quite positive about it. Next nice thing, that's a power on and off, so it's not always sipping power when it's in standby or off mode. That I really do like. I also like that it uses a standard charging port like mini USB instead of some strange proprietary format. So that is very nice. It's also sleek and very pocketable as you guys can see. Really thin, actually has a nice look to it. It actually comes in black or white to match your iPhone. Obviously here I'm using the white one. So some of the cons about the device. Well, it's an external dongle, so you can't just throw this in your pocket. You can't throw it in your backpack and let it charge. It really has to be sitting out on a desk, otherwise it's going to snap right off. The connection is very strong. We can see it's sort of bending a little bit as I'm holding it. So it does make it a little bit awkward. Second thing, if you want to make a phone call while you're on it, there is a little bit of a gap between the charge and the microphone port. But people who I was speaking to when I had this charged in, they report some little bit of muffled call, something, something to keep in mind. So who is this for? If you are a road warrior and you need a big backup battery, this is a fantastic option because it's so big and because it has such a large charging capacity, it really can carry you for a long time. And I say big only in terms of size of the battery, not physical size of the device. It's actually in a very slim package. So iPower gives you a few benchmarks. They claim It'll extend music up to 40 hours, it'll extend your video up to 10 hours, and it'll extend talk time up to 7 hours, all of which are very impressive. So if you're a road warrior, you're traveling quite a bit, you need something to charge your device while you're on an airplane, this is a really good option. Plug it in, leave it on your tray table, and you are good to go. Who is this not good for? Those of you that use the, your iPhone quite a bit but are on the go a lot and have to keep putting it in your pocket or putting it in a backpack. You're going to have a hard time putting this in your backpack when it's plugged in. Certainly it's possible when it's not plugged in, but when you're using it, not so good. Next thing, and it's definitely a pro for the device, is that it charges the iPhone from zero to full charge in just about an hour and a half. So if you do have an hour and a half, plug it in, let it go, and you'll have a full charge on your phone. And after you full charge, this thing will still have about three quarters of a charge left in it, which is really cool. So let me explain that. That might not have made sense. If your iPhone's on zero charge, and this is on full charge, and then you plug this in and charge your iPhone all the way up, this will still have three quarters of a charge left, which is really impressive. 
So I want to give you guys pros and cons. Do I recommend this? Yes, I definitely can recommend it, but it's not for everyone. If you meet that segment that this is for, you're not going to regret it. It's a great product. So the folks at iPower, nice enough to hook up the viewers with a 10% discount. So I'll put a link up in the sidebar, but if you go to wirelessinput.com and you enter John Four Lakers, you'll get a nice 10% discount. And this will run you $59.95 before the discount. So you'll save just about six bucks. That's quite a nice deal. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. This is John Rettinger with the review for you of the iPower battery backup for the iPhone, iPod, i whatever with that Apple's proprietary port. For exclusive content, guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I will see you in the next video. Bye.